Hello everybody, welcome to The Wonky Angle, where I talk about electronic music, both new and old, and today I'm talking about the new album from Guess, Roush. Man, Wolfgang Voigt. Guess is an artist who is completely unlike anyone I've ever or will ever talk about on this channel. And he's also one of the most difficult artists to talk about that I've ever covered. See, fully enjoying Gas requires a completely different headspace from what I'm used to, and one that does not easily translate into words. I'm not entirely sure why I decided to review this, since it comes from this artist who basically defies reviewing in the first place. Well, okay, it's mainly because I reviewed him last year. Yes, as some may remember, I made a video covering Gas's Narco Pop album back when that came out, and it ended up making my year-end list for 2017 as well. I definitely have been converted into a Gas fan, but he is still a very difficult artist to listen to and talk about. See, the guy's style is very minimalistic usually, some pads of very slow-moving, often orchestral-sounding samples with occasionally a very muffled techno kick drum coming in underneath and it basically feeds off atmosphere alone. In order for me to properly get something out of his albums, I basically need to close myself off from society entirely and not do anything else. Some albums can do okay if they're on in the background while I'm doing something else, but most of them boil down to white noise in this setting, and if I have something else stuck in my head, that's gonna wipe out more than half of his stuff out of existence. <laughs> but those times where he has clicked with me have all been something special. Initially, I felt like his previous albums all basically sound exactly the same, aside from maybe pop. But they have all started to drift apart as their own things. The dude is definitely a grower. And his last album, Narcopop, was a good lead-in for me, personally, because there were ten tracks instead of, like, six or seven that happened to be really, really long. And therefore, there was more movement in Narcopop than any of the other Gas albums. I'm not entirely sure if it's his best. I think if I were to rank them, it'd go Pop is the best, then Zauberberg second, Narcopop third, I guess Koenig's fourth after that, since I haven't fully gotten into that one aside from part five, and I think I might even be missing two tracks. But whatever. So let's talk about this most recent project here. So this album's announcement definitely came as a surprise, especially considering the fact that Narcopop broke a 17-year hiatus for the gas project. This came after only a year. And that name, Rausch, I'm told that this is the German word for either intoxication or frenzy, depending on who you ask. I asked my dad about it since he speaks uh, German, a little bit German, just certainly more than I do. And while he didn't know this specific word off the top of his head, he found an article somewhere that credited his translating to frenzy and this album being inspired by our current political climate. Now, I'll admit I can't actually find this article myself, and uh, all the others I found say it means intoxication, but when I heard that, I thought, Gas is like the last artist in the universe I'd expect to make an album based on the current political climate. I guess that meant that was going to be even darker than the other Gas albums, which are already generally fairly dark, aside from Pop. I mean, it's not like he's going to be able to create any real political statement given his particular minimalistic style, so, um... It was certainly an intriguing idea, though, so what did we get with Roush? Well, I liked it a lot. I think I think this fared better than Narcopop. Where it rank, I'm not uh, sure yet. I'm still not totally sure if I've processed the, or the rest of the gas catalog, but... The main thing that sticks out to me about Roush is that it actually sounds a bit more detailed and sonically complex than the usual from him. Not to mention, once you hit, once I hear the first section, there's like this overwhelming sense of, like, impending doom. It just sounds a lot bigger than the others. There's some kind, like, some kind of disaster is about to strike in the near future. I guess that just about describes our current political climate, doesn't it? But yeah, like I said, there does seem to be more ingredients that went into this one. More sounds going around. The string sections are less like a consistent pad that just kind of vaguely changes over time. And it's, uh, it's more dynamic here. They seem to be moving a bit more than uh, something like Narco Pop 2, I guess. 
There's like little fuzzy clumps of noise occasionally. There's some like little cymbal sounds that appear occasionally both played forward and in reverse. Uh, there's some effects that sound like they're imitating a big industrial fan, mainly in parts 4 and 5. In the case of the latter, it sounds like the fan is breaking or something. There's random guitar noises, sometimes some woodwind accompaniment. Uh, the, the muffled techno drums in parts uh, even have both a kick and a snare. How about that? On top of that, the entire project is clearly constructed as one piece. Sure, there are seven tracks, but they all flow right into each other, and the boundaries for where one part starts and another begins is really vague. That does make it exceptionally hard to pick favorite and least favorite sections. I guess one and two stick out to me the most, being the introduction to this sound, but I can't really be bothered to go much further than that. It's basically one hour long track mapped out into seven sections. But yeah, um... This album, it's really detailed, really creepy, probably the most portentous and dramatic of the Gas albums to date. I mean, it doesn't offer a ton of discussion material, not like this kind of album typically does, but I definitely enjoyed this thing, even more than I expected to. Gas continues to be one of the most unique and challenging artists in all of electronic music. If you're a fan of the guy already, it's definitely worth your time. If you're not a fan, this is probably not going to change your mind. And if you haven't heard the guy's other stuff already, I guess this is as decent an entry point as any of the others. I'm not gonna act like this is gonna be the kind of album that everyone's gonna enjoy, but I enjoyed it. If Void can continue to deliver material in this project that pushes it into somewhat new territory like this, um, I'm all for whatever he plans on doing next. So yeah, this is a this is a very good album. I'm overall feeling a 7.7 .7 out of 10. But of course, it's just my opinion. You can feel free to disagree with it, but I'd like to hear your thoughts, so leave the comments in the comment thing down there. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all for today. See you next time.